Hello everyone, welcome to The Last Door, Chapter 1, The Letter, an episodic horror adventure game made by The Game Kitchen. I want to thank viewer Gravity Guy for suggesting this to me. So, this game has a really interesting payment model. Basically how it works at the moment is that there have been three chapters of this game released so far, and the first two are completely free, and the third and latest one you have to donate to unlock. And as soon as the fourth chapter comes out, the third one will then become free. So it's a way to still, you know, if you want to play, if you really like the game, you want to play the latest chapter, um, you have to pay for it and support the development. But if you're patient, you can, I guess, probably end up playing the entire game for free. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool way to uh, fund development. Kind of a mixture of a completely free game and a game where you have to pay to play it at all. It's kind of neat. I've never really seen that before. This game is also on Steam Greenlight, and I will have links to all of this stuff in the description so where you can play the game for yourself for free right now, and also to the Steam Greenlight page. Alright, so as usual, when I play a game, I'm going to be analyzing it a bit, because I really like to just to think about the stuff that I play. So I'll be doing that a bit, and um, let's see, what else is there to mention? I think the only other thing to mention is that I just don't really know what to um, expect from this because I really haven't read anything about it other than just the description on the main site. I haven't seen any reviews. I haven't heard anybody's impressions on how good it is. I haven't seen any videos about it other than the trailer, I think, a while ago. So I just I don't know what to expect, but I'm really excited to play. I've just started it up and played for like 30 seconds just to make sure it actually works. And that's about it, so let's get into it. New game. Alright, so this is pretty cool. You actually have the option to enable or disable dyslexia-friendly fonts, which I can do right now. I've never seen a game that has that option before. It actually is easier for me to read, even though as far as I know I don't have dyslexia. But it is easier for me to read than this sort of like pixel art font, but... I still can read the pixel art font just fine, and I think it fits the graphic style of the game a bit better, so I'm just going to leave it on normal, but I really like that they have that option in there. It's pretty cool. And then full screen mode and description of uh, sounds, closed captioning. So yeah, let's go. After all the things I've seen... It looks... It looks like I'm in an attic. What is this? I think that might have been a rope. Hard to tell. After all the things I've done... Wait a minute. I just moved a chair, and I'm in the attic, and I can see beams of wood, and I think I just picked up a rope. And apparently I've done bad things. Am I about to hang myself? My life is on a course that I can't escape from. I'm about to hang myself, aren't I? It's too late for me now. Oh boy. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Do I have to? <laughs> do I have to hang myself? I guess I do. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Well, holy crap, that is one hell of an opening. The opening of the game. In the opening of the game, you hang yourself. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen that in a game before. That is one hell of an opening.
October 1891. I am not even going to attempt to pronounce what whatever that is. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. Huh. It had been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to address to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter 1. The Letter So exactly how long ago did I... was the letter sent? Am I going to come into here and find his body just hanging from the rafters? I wonder how long the letter was in transit. Days? Weeks? I guess we're about to find out. Lens. Ooh. Let's turn our lens towards... Wait. Oh, I guess I could... It's now in full screen. Yes. Yes, I, I know it's in full screen. <laughs> This game runs in a Flash Player, by the way, so I'm actually running it in my browser. In case you're wondering what, what that was about. I think this is only for examining stuff in your inventory, so let's just... No, let's just put that back. What? The hell am I looking at? Is that a flock of crows or ravens tearing something apart? Um, excuse me. A murder of crows is eagerly eating something. What are they eating? Excuse me. They're too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Whatever they're tearing apart, it's awfully juicy. Um, let's go back to the front of the house. This is weird. Everything is silent, like there's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Everything is silent, like there's no one living here. That might be more true than you know. Let's go back outside. I want to check around here again. Let's see if I can do anything here without pissing them off. No, no. Okay, I... Did, did the game just freeze? I, I think I just crashed the game. What's going on? Yeah. The, the Adobe Flash plugin just crashed. Ah, <sighs> this is why I don't like Flash. <laughs> I really don't like Flash. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's try that again. It's just rubbish. I know. It is just like Flash. <sighs> Alright, can I go in the back door? It's locked from the inside. Well, only one place to go. In the front door. That's an ominous sounding clock. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. Click. Clack. Click. Clack. A portrait of Anthony. He looks older than I expected. My coat. A note on the table. Oh. Dear Mr. Beechworth, Due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us and, much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Be Brewer. 
all these years at your service. Well, I'm guessing they were servants. It is a mansion, after all, and I suppose mansions do often have servants. So he let them go. Or, I mean, not let them go. They had to leave. Due to the recent events. Whatever that means. Hmm. A gramophone. It looks rusty. A drink cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. Oh, can I take the stuff? Only these matches could be useful. Here we go. Now, naturally, the next thing I think of is use the matches on the gramophone to burn away the rust. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, fair enough. A fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. That large window is wide open, letting the cold, dusk air in. A landscape painting. Another landscape painting. I love the landscape paintings. So common in mansions. A crooked painting. It is crooked. Fix it. It's still crooked. Uh. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I was just trying to fix the painting, but apparently it revealed a lever? Or, oh no, no, it's not a lever. An old rosary with a solid wood crucifix. I will take that. The painting is on the floor and the frame is broken. A landscape painting. Some toiletries. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. <laughs> a dark hole in the wall. That doesn't give me comfort. A lamp. It will come in handy. Ah, I guess I could light it with the matches. Lighted lamp. Can I look in the dark hole? No. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. Is that a note? March 5th, 1891. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. Oh, that's why the rosary was hidden behind the painting. So why did Beechworth want them to get rid of their religious objects? Oh, there's more. May 18th, 1891. Master has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the Master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. So there's been some sort of a slip into... What? A slip into what? Madness? He was hiding out? Wanting food delivered to his door but not eating? And as we saw from the beginning, he regretted whatever he... He had been doing. He didn't allow any religious objects inside of the house? What was going on? Oh, is that... 
In the wall, I can see the trace of a crucifix that was hanging there for years, and now it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> they even had to tear it down from the wall. An empty bowl, like the one used to feed a pet. Well, if I open this window, will the cat come in? Kitty cat. Hello? The window won't stay open. It looks like the wood is giving up. I'd need some sort of cord to keep it open. Cord. Well, I don't have that. I guess I'll have to wait. A small plant brings some life to this place. Yeah, but not much. Locked. It's padlocked. Oh, this looks like a kitchen, I think. The kitchen stoves and a cleaning cloth. A cleaning cloth? Hmm. Kitchen stoves. Plates and pans. A plate with some days old leftovers. You. Hopefully it's not moldy yet. Although, honestly, well, what the hell would it matter? <laughs> oh no, there's some moldy food on a plate. The end of the world! I think there's bigger things to worry about. Oh wait, what is this? A variety of cooking ingredients. Oh, I can't take them? Man, I wanted to fry up some food. Make some risotto or something. I unlocked the door. Okay, so that's going to come out to the, the crows. Now, could I scare them off? Would crows be scared off by a light? No. Hmm. Okay, it's at the point where I need to start doing something with my items. There's no record on the gramophone. Oh wait, maybe it's not, I forgot. There's an upstairs. Oh, that's what the lighted lamp was for. I guess this place is totally dark up here. Well... It won't open. What the hell? This doorway's been boarded over. Some wooden planks have been nailed to this doorway. It's like someone was trying to protect themselves. Also, there's missing paintings. Looks like some of the paintings are missing. Mm hmm Was someone protecting themselves from something? From what? Hold on, L let me see if this one's open too. No, it's locked with a key. Only one way to go. Okay, there's actually some light here. That's comforting. A double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. Wait a minute. Wait, he, he deduces that no one has slept here for days because there's dust on it? W wouldn't it take like weeks or months for a noticeable amount of dust to accumulate? Unless it's really, really dusty around here. 
a gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. The fireplace hasn't been used for a long time. This window leads to a balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. Family portraits. Alright, let's go out onto the balcony. I can't open the latch. It's stuck. Perhaps I could force it with a small tool. A small tool? Um... Would the rosary work? I didn't think so. I don't think I have anything that could work. Is there something on the bedside table? A, oh, a silver key! Wow, it's, it's like three pixels. A silver key. What is it to? This could be it. The key doesn't fit the lock. I didn't think so. Typically when you find a key, it doesn't go to a door that's right next to you. You know what? I really don't like this hallway. This hallway creeps me out. Won't open. Doesn't fit the lock. Maybe it goes to you. Bingo. Whoa. This is the basement, isn't it? It sounds... cavernous. A slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. Well, I can play that on the gramophone. What is that? Some firewood. An iron crowbar. Ooh. Could use that to force the latch, I guess. Kind of seems over the top, but I suppose it would work. The boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. The cement is still fresh in this wall. Someone patched over it. Someone just did a patch job on this wall. Can I break it open? I can't break down the wall with this. I didn't think so. Alright, well if I find a sledgehammer, or something of the sort, maybe that would work. For now, let's just get the hell out of the basement. Alright, let's go play this record. Now there's a record on the gramophone. That... <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. Okay. It must be broken. I don't know how to make it stop. Oh, great! Now it's stuck like that. P please bash it with a crowbar. I can't. Okay. Ugh. The music stopped abruptly. Hmm. Did someone stop it, or... Whoa! Are those a bunch of crows? Or... I think... Are those... Yeah, those are crows. What the hell?
They're watching me. I'm going to leave now. Did that distract them from the back of the house, or is that a separate group of crows? Okay, it's separate. I mean, it is the same group. What, whatever that is is still alive. There's a dying crow amidst a pool of blood. Wait, so they were tearing apart one of their own? Aww. That's horrible. What am I supposed to do with a dying crow? A pool of blood. The remains of the banquet. Just rubbish. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna mouse over it because I That's a horrible noise. The poor thing. Is that Would the crow be the food for the cat? It is a it is a oh god. It is a bird. I just, I just want it out of my inventory, so I don't have to hear it scream. Let me try putting it in the bowl. Actually, I don't think I'm in the right spot for that, am I? No, I'm in the wrong spot. Well, for now, let's do this. Oh, the crowbar is not for this. Okay, I, th I thought it would be overboard for that. A small tool. That is not a small tool. By any means. Okay. Where was that place with the window and the bowl? Gotta find the bowl. I wanna find it right now so I don't have to hear this thing scream anymore. They're gone. Huh. <sighs> Should I play it again? I better leave it alone. I agree. I very much agree. Where was it? Nope. Must be this way. Here we go. Great, now I just put the dying crow in a bowl. <laughs> Alright, how do I prop the thing open? You said it needed a... What did you say? A cord? I mean, that, that wouldn't work. I don't think a rosary would work. Or... Oh, no, it does work. Oh. The rosary will keep the window open. And then I just leave? The crow is in the bowl. I guess I just leave. At least the crow will be put out of its misery by getting eaten, I, I guess. I mean, it's obviously not going to survive after being picked apart by like a dozen other crows for five minutes straight. Alright, do I just go back inside? Hmm. Do I just wait? The window is fixed now. What if I... Can I bash this hole open more? No. Damn, I want to see what's in the walls. Maybe there's something hidden. So do I just wait for the cat? I hear a cat meowing in the distance. Okay. That is a... Are you sure that's a cat and not some sort of a... monster? Because that kind of sounds terrifying. <sighs> that sounds like the battle cry. 
of a monster, like a mile away, echoing in the mountains. Ugh. Where did the crow go? Oh gee, maybe in, into the wall? In, follow the blood trail? The crow is gone. There's some blood left. The window is fixed now. There's a trail of blood from the bowl to that hole in the wall. Now can I bust it open? I think I need to follow the sounds of the cat. Okay, it's coming from the right. Here we, here we go. The cat's meow is louder here. It's in here. The cat seems to be meowing from behind this wall. But I can't bro break it open with the crowbar, right? No. What do I need? Something I'm missing. Alright, I still need to open that balcony. Oh god, that cat is going to drive me nuts. Still need to open the balcony, and for that I need a small tool. Where would I find a small tool? Let me make sure I haven't missed something. This, yeah, this game is unfortunately a little bit pixel hunty, as you saw, especially with that silver key, which is virtually invisible. I just kind of found it by dumb luck. So I think something like a, a hotspot indicator would be really nice, because there, there could be something very small that I'm missing. The curtains are drawn. So let me just hunt around. That's locked. That <laughs> damn cat. Actually, maybe I can just bust this down. Oh, here we go. Oh. For God's sake, what happened here? That's what I was just wondering. <laughs> oh, there's a body on the bed. I didn't even notice that. Who, what, why, uh, looks like there's notes on the ground. It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper, angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk, walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend. A letter in a feeble handwriting. I can't go on. All is lost. It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. Who are they but dust and bones? Their stares. She's seeing... visions? Of people from the... 
Beechworth family? I don't know. What is all this writing? The writing in the walls reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? An old wheelchair. Nothing of interest in this dressing table. The lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now, a stranger, with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon, I will stop trembling. What was that? A hairpin. Well, that's convenient. It's not from this world. A woman holding a baby. She looks happy. What am I hearing? Something clinking. An adult woman. She looks really pale. A young Anthony, just like I remember him. An old, severe-looking man. His gaze unsettles me. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. A young man. One of Anthony's relatives. A portrait of Anthony with a stuffed lynx. It looks like he's very proud. Of his valued an Very proud of his valued animal. The paint looks fresher around the lynx head. Oh, so somebody's painted over something. Before I do anything with that, though, what is this clinking noise? There's a crow behind the window. It looks like it's trying to get in. Oh, is it? Should I let it in? Can I let it in? I don't think I can. I don't think I want to. Not after their display in the room with the gramophone. I'm worried they might tear me apart just like they teared apart their crow. Alright, maybe I can wipe away the paint? That would just spread out that fresh paint. Hmm. I know! Burn it! No, okay, stupid. No, I don't think I can do anything with it just yet. I probably need to, what, wet the cloth, maybe? I'd be surprised if the paint was actually still literally wet, but... It sounds like it is, if he thinks the cloth could even do anything to it. It must be wet. Alright, so who are these people? A woman holding a baby. She looks happy. An adult woman. She looks really pale. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. Young and sad. Unknown age, but with a baby. And happy. And then adult and pale. Are these all of the same people? Just over a period of time, or just a bunch of different relatives? Really hard to tell. I mean, their face looks the same, but keep in mind, their face is made... Her face in these two paintings is made up of literally one, two, three, four, five, six pixels. <laughs> literally f six pixels, so it's kind of hard to tell. Alright, let's go use this hairpin. Where do I use it? I think it's over here. Yeah, here we go. I managed to open the latch.
Is that a stuffed cat? Oh, a stuffed lynx. It looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Hmm. Oh. Oh, is that is that the attic up there? The one where I hung myself? A common a common hammer in good condition. Well, in an adventure game, you can always use a hammer. Some torn out pages. They won't bother me anymore. I'm done with their censorious gazes, their whispers. It's all ready. There's only one thing left to do. Some sort of spilled chemical product. A can of thinner. Oh, that's what I need for the paint. I've unlocked the door. Remains of chemical experiments. Some strange books. They're written in a language I don't know. A map of the region with markings on it. A few press cuttings pinned to the wall. The Illustrated London News, 1887. Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found dead, floating in the Thames. The Times, 1889. Famous actor found bled to death in his hotel room. What the hell? Why was he collecting those things? Are they connected to what happened here? Hold on, where exactly does this lead to? Okay. Alright, let's try the attic. A reinforced metal trapdoor. There's a golden keyhole. <laughs> you need a golden key to get up, up to the attic. A golden key. That is very classical. Alright. Dip the cloth in that. I dampen the cloth with thinner. What is under it? Under the fresh paint. The thinner has worked. The fresh paint around the lynx's head is gone, and now I can see the original painting. This lynx is different. Its mouth is, o is open as if it was growling. Growling? So if I go back to... So, if I go back to this lynx, a stuffed lynx, looks like it went in his portrait, but his mouth is shut like it was, like it was before I revealed the original painting. Okay, what does that mean? Do I need to force open its mouth or something? Can I <laughs> bash it open with a hammer? I don't want to smash it with a hammer. I do. Hmm. I can't think of what to do with it just yet. Maybe I'll try the hammer on the wall that has the cat behind it. I don't know if it's big enough to really do that. But I'll try it. I mean, I would think you would need a sledgehammer to do that, but maybe it'll work. Certainly doesn't hurt to try. Is it this one? No. The cat seems to be meowing from behind this wall. 
Oh, it worked. What the fuck? On top of a chest, there's a black cat. His eyes are missing. Good God. It almost ripped my eyes out. He's run to the darkness. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Only this knife can be useful. There's nothing else useful here. I guess I can use this for the lynx. How did the cat get in there? Yeah, let me see if I can pry open its mouth with the knife. There we go. I managed to get the lynx's mouth open. The tongue has been removed. There's a golden key instead. Oh. Here we go, to the attic. Oh god, no. Anthony, no. Yep, this is the attic. The lifeless body of my dear friend. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. Dear J. Devitt, If you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write you in my last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends. And when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all said that sentence that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. They're already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, Devitt. Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. Damn the crows to hell. <laughs> That is a perfect cliffhanger and lead-in into chapter number two. <laughs> that was great. Wow, I really like this so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's really creepy. The art style is really good. It's very effective. The sound is exceptional. They view sound to great effect. Yeah, like the, the record, for example, the gramophone. The way that played out, just the creepy way it was playing and you couldn't stop it, and it was obnoxious, and when you go to a different room, you can hear it directionally coming from wherever in the house it's actually coming from. And just that whole scene and how it played out. That was really creepy. And then the cat? The way where you could... Uh, the way you could track it down based on where you're hearing it coming from in the house? Also, 
it's just a very good use of sound. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the sound design in this game. And again, the art style is very good. It's just generally creepy and really well written. None of the puzzles were obnoxious or or annoying or anything like that. They were just they, they made sense. You didn't end up with two dozen items in your inventory and end up bashing your head against a wall trying to make some obscure combination. It's just, it's stuff that makes sense. Like, there's fresh paint, you use paint thinner on the paint, and it thins the paint. It, it just makes sense. So I'm impressed with the puzzle design as well. As far as things that I think could be improved, um, I guess probably the biggest is just the lack of any sort of a hotspot indicator because this is a pixel art game and I really like the graphical style but one problem you run into with pixel art games is that you don't have many pixels with which to work with because your your pixels are so freaking huge so it kind of becomes hard to make to make things stand out and you can end up in situations where you have to pixel hunt like for example for example that silver key which I think was made up of two or three pixels or something. It was, it was nearly invisible. I just found it by dumb luck, basically. But, um, yeah, you run into that problem. And I think the best way to combat it is basically just have a hotspot indicator. I mean, it kind of... I guess having a hotspot indicator does kind of break the immersion a little bit because it covers the scene and all of these glowy bits that show you where stuff can be interacted with, but I think that's probably better than the alternative of potentially getting stuck because you simply can't even see that an item exists in the world and can be interacted with. So yeah, I would have liked something like that, some, some sort of a hotspot indicator. Aside from that, is there anything else that I think could be improved? Um... I guess the only other thing I can really mention, which isn't a huge deal, is that a couple moments seemed a little bit gamey. Gamey to the point of, I think, distracting detracting from the story a bit. Like, for example, when, you, when I was reading the note from the dead woman in the bed, and, I, you know, I was just absorbing this note that I just read that was really horrifying. And as soon as I finished reading it, a hairpin dropped out. So, and that was the exact item, of course, that I needed to open the balcony, the balcony window. So I, w I just read this horrifying note, and then this this hairpin dropped out. I'm like, "Ooh, there's a solution to a puzzle." It kind of took it kind of took me out of the moment a bit. And also, needing a golden key to unlock the attic—that's also kind of silly. I mean, a golden key. I'm pretty sure mansions don't use golden keys. I mean, it's just... I don't know, it, it seems a little bit silly. But um, those are minor things. Overall, I think this was damn good. And I imagine, if anything, it's just going to get better from here on out. In the next chapter. So yes, I am impressed. It's impressive graphically, sound-wise. Pretty good writing. I like how tense it is. I like the puzzle design. Just a good and effective and creepy horror adventure game. Alright. So I hope everyone has enjoyed and I will be back soon with chapter 2.